Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to import some classes that are custom into our program. So we've been importing things such as uh, the scanner, we've been importing the random object, but what if we wanted to import something that uh, was a custom uh, piece of software? And we're going to do that with something called the CN Reader. So the CN Reader is a, a piece of software that was created by Boyd Trollinger, who's the instructor at Butte College, and it is designed to do what the scanner doesn't do, and that is kind of control and validate what the user inputs. Go to the course tools and documents, you'll see that there's a link to cnreader.java. That's the source code. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that link, and here's all this wonderful code that we want to bring into our program. So here I've got a program. I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to name it exactly the same thing as my C and Reader. So I capitalized C, I capitalized R. We want to keep the capitalization straight so it's the same. And here I've got the C and Reader. Then I want to go to my source code and I'll go ahead and do Control A, highlight everything. Then I'll do Control C to copy everything into my cache. Now I'll go into the CN Reader. If I open it up, it's got a bunch of template stuff in here. I'll do Control A and then delete all that. Then Control V, paste all the new stuff there. So now I've got my CN Reader. And uh, if I show my uh, scroll window over here, you'll see there's a lot of code as part of this. And if I want to know how to actually use this, I can switch from source code view to documentation view. That'll create some HTML and um, this will show me who the what the version is, who the author is, a little description about it, but it also shows me the constructors, how I construct it. Here's a default constructor that we can use and some of the methods and basically what I'll be using is the return integer. And there's two of them. One of them allows me to get any integer. The other one allows me to specify a minimum and maximum integer. So what I could do is I could ask the person You've got four rooms in front of you, room one through four. Uh, which room do you want to go into? And then I could specify one as the minimum and four as the maximum. That way, if they put in room five, it says, sorry, you can only choose one through four. So we'll see how that works here in a little bit. OK, so now I've got that in here. And I can go ahead and compile it. Now I'll go to my program. And normally, what we would do is we would import stuff at the top. We don't have to import this because it's in the same folder. I'm going to create it just like I would normally create it. I'm going to say CN Reader, my reader equals new CN Reader, and then I'm not putting any uh, thing in the cur uh, in the parentheses here. So that's the constructor. So you'll remember when we did the scanner, it was something very similar. We said <clears throat> uh, scanner my scanner equals new scanner. And then we would also put in the system in, in here. Well, that's um, we don't have to do that. CN Reader is going to do the same thing that the scanner does, only better. OK, then uh, I've got my reader. I'm going to create an integer called user int. And I'm going to then use my CN Reader to get the integer from the keyboard. But first, I've got to print something out. So I'm going to print out a question, system out print line. <clears throat> and I'll put you see four doors one through four which one okay so now I'll go ahead and compile this and I'll go to my program go ahead and run the main method here all right, so in the terminal, I see you see four doors, one through four, which one? I'll go ahead and do something silly. I'll press seven. That's not a choice. It comes back and says, please enter an integer between one and four. So that's what the CN reader gives us. It gives us a loop. I'll put in negative five. It's going to do the same thing. I'll put in the letter H. <clears throat> it says input is not an integer. Please re-enter. If I finally put in a three, then that will work. Of course, I don't have any code to handle that, but 
So that's how we import the CN Reader or any other custom type class that we want to use.